Cognition is the mental activities associated with thinking, knowing, remembering, and communicating information. Um, this concept came from Rene Descartes. Kind of looks like this guy. He believed in I think, therefore I am. Dad, what do these all look like to you? Old bags. <laughs> what my dad just did was concept. Concept is a mental grouping of similar objects, people, ideas, or events. So when he saw that, he just thought, they're bags. But what type of bags? There was a sports bag, there was a satchel, there was a speech bag, there was all different types. We often organize our concepts by forming prototypes. Prototypes are mental image or pinnacle example of a certain thing, which can also be known as stereotyping. In this example, if you see a jock walking around, you would think they're not smart, they don't do their work. And then you see a kid reading a book in the library and you think they must be a nerd. That must be all they do. Cognition also includes problem solving and the strategies that we use to solve those problems. We solve some problems through trial and error, as you see me doing with this puzzle here. I'm trying every piece to see which one fits. It definitely takes a long time, not really ideal if you want to be quick, but eventually I will get the right answer, as you see right here. Algorithms are step-by-step -step procedures that guarantee a solution. Long division is just one example of an algorithm. So when dividing 650 by 5, you take it in steps. 5 goes into 6 one time, minus that is 1, bring down the other 5, that's 15, 5 goes into 15 three times, and you get the point. It takes a couple steps to get to the answer 130. Most of us probably didn't use an algorithm to solve that problem and rather resorted to simpler strategies or heuristics. Maybe you thought that there are 25s in 100, so that means there are 125s in 600. And then half of 100 is 50, which means there are only 10 fives. And that all comes to 130. Or maybe you didn't use a problem solving strategy at all and the answer 130 just came to you in a sudden flash of insight. Math problems aren't the only algorithms out there. Recipes can be considered one too because they are step-by-step -step procedures that lead us to a solution. And the solution to our problems is vanilla cake. So after solving some problems and finding the solutions you were looking for, you're probably feeling pretty good about yourself. But lastly, we're gonna talk about obstacles that actually hinder our problem solving. In problem solving, we can often face two major difficulties when trying to accurately solve a problem. One of these being confirmation bias and the other being fixation. An example of confirmation bias would, would be, say that person A believes that global warming is not real, while person B tries to convince them that it is real. Person A would actively seek out information that agrees with them. And then if person B were to present them with information that disagrees with them, they would be less likely to take it as credible or serious. They would sort of fixate their mind on global warming not being real. Which leads into fixation, which is when we are not able to change our perspective when it comes to problem solving. An example of this would be tic-tac-toe. Say that to person A, the best strategy to win tic-tac-toe is to always start in the middle. Every game of tic-tac-toe, they start in the middle. But they always keep losing their games. So instead of changing their perspective, thinking of a different strategy to win, they keep trying in, in the middle. When another strategy that could be more effective would be, would be to always start in corners. But because of their fixation on their problem solving algorithm, or yeah, algorithm, they are not able to see that different strategy.